So today we're going to be doing bedpan for a dependent patient. So I've already done my beginning five and I've gathered my supplies. My supplies were gloves, I have the toilet tissue, I have a bed protector, and I have a linen bag and I also have a bag for um, trash. I have washcloths and a towel. I have my soap, a basin of warm water, and then I also have my bedpan, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the bed to a comfortable working height, maintaining safety, making sure that the bed is locked. I'm going to put on my gloves. Mr. Jacobson, I'm going to be helping you get on the bedpan today. I'm going to assist my patient to turn. Onto side. And place a bed protector on the bed. Then I'm going to take the bedpan and position the bedpan against the patient's buttocks, making sure that the gown is not involved there. And I'm going to position my patient for comfort and cover my patient up. At this time, I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands. I would wash my hands, and then I'm going to make sure to raise the head of the bed. And before I leave the room, then I also want to make sure that I um, position the call light so that my patient can reach it. And if he was able to, I would leave some toilet paper with my patient as well. Before I go, I want to just make sure that when I raise the head of that bed that the bedpan didn't move. So to make sure it remains properly positioned. And it's okay. So if it was safe at this point, I would leave the room. When my patient is finished um, using the bedpan, I'm going to make sure I wash my hands again. And I'm going to remove the call light. Raise the bed up to a good working height for me. Lower the side rail. I'm going to apply my gloves. Make sure that I have my water is warm over here to do peri care if necessary. Going to remove the bed linens. Now I need to lower the head of the bed, but I also don't want to make sure I want to make sure that the bedpan doesn't spill. So I'm going to keep a hand on the bedpan here while I lower the head of the bed. I'm 
I'm going to assist my patient to turn over onto his side. Again, keeping a hold of the bedpan and making sure that the gown does not fall into the bedpan either. At this point, I could use the toilet paper to wipe off any excess stool my patient might have. And then I'm going to um, take the bedpan, observe the contents, take it into the bathroom or wherever the facility's policy is. I'm gonna, if I have to take it out of the room, I'm going to make sure I cover it. I'm going to take it into the bathroom. I'm going to dispose of the contents, disinfect it, and store it in its proper place. I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands, put on new gloves, come out and perform peri care as necessary. Then I'm going to dispose of the bed protector and assist my patient back onto his back. I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands again. If my patient um, was, had been able to use the toilet paper, I'd want to make sure I put on new gloves and assisted them to wash, or assisted him to wash his hands. I will lower the bed, lower the side rail. Turn the call light, clean up all of my supplies, um, put everything back where it belongs, and um, perform my ending five.